first and simplest is one point perspective. And you always start with your perspective as the artist, your eye level. So your eye level is the same as what we call the horizon line. So there's a horizon line. It's also the same thing as an eye level. If I was standing tall, you know, my eye level is higher than if I was sitting on a chair, and my eye level would be some here. If I was laying down on the ground, my eye level would be down there. So your eye level changes as you change. And if you're taller than somebody else doing the same landscape, let's say you're out there with a landscape class, and there's a whole bunch of people out there doing it, they're all going to have a different, slightly different view. So it's your view, it's your viewpoint. Okay, it's your eye level. So it's called the horizon line. Or eye level. Same thing. Um, in one point perspective, that means uh, the things that go into the distance go to one point. So um, so here's a and also in true one point perspective, you're standing in the middle and looking at something, you know, as the artist. So if I was standing in the middle of a, let's say, street, it would be your view from the middle of the street, or your view from the middle of a house that you're looking at, or your view um, standing in front of a factory, or whatever. You're in the middle of it. So, um, in one point perspective, you think of everything in rectangles or squares or whatever. And what kind of a line is this when it goes this way? Horizontal. Yes. What kind is this? Vertical. Okay. So, the verticals always stay straight up and down, they do not tilt. And the or horizontal lines that are straight in front of you stay horizontal. They don't tilt. So this is the part that's closest to you if you were looking at it. This uh, box is on this plane right here. And this plane does not start turning. It stays flat. Okay. Um, you take each corner and take it up to the vanishing point. So, and then to finish off the box, you decide how far back you want it to go and just draw a line. Now this is another horizontal line and that stays horizontal. This stays vertical, this stays horizontal, horizontal, vertical. And so now it kind of takes on a shape. We think it's a, a box going back into the distance. I see what you're saying now. Okay. <laughs> now, if you want to, this is not, this is opaque. Opaque means you can't see through it. Now we're going to make it transparent. So if you want to make it transparent, you take all the corners back to the vanishing point. So, straight edge, but oops, all the corners are going to go to the vanishing point. Now what do you do with the side walls? Right. So um, the side walls will go straight, you start at the back corner and you bring it straight down and wherever it touches this line, you stop. And if you do it correctly with a ruler, it should all line up. There, so where this stops and this stops, you connect it with another line, and you have the bottom of your box. You know all that? Okay. And you can also make a box above, up in the sky somewhere. You start with the front that's closest to you. And then you take each corner back to the vanishing point. So your box could be up in the 
sky. It could be an airplane overhead. It could be a box coming <laughs> coming out of the sky at you. I don't know. It could be a box cloud. Kite. What? Box kite. A box kite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would, yeah. <laughs> so, and, and you take each corner to the vanishing point. Whoops. I don't want to go that way. Um, okay, so it also it works with um, boxes anywhere. The front of the box stays just like a regular box, you know, horizontal, so nothing tilts on the front. And everything going away goes to one vanishing point. And you, you know, you connect them at the corners. And then you decide how far back you want it to go. And then at the corners, you go like that. Um, Okay, so now we're missing the transparent part of it. It's transparent, you also connect this line too, taking that back to the vanishing point. And then where this meets that, we've got the back wall. Okay, and the same thing on this side. It would you'd just be the other you'd be seeing the other side of box. Start with the box in front of you, take the corners back to the vanishing point, decide how far back you want that box to be, draw a line, and then at the corner draw like that. So these stay horizontal and these stay vertical. The only thing going back is the sides that tilt in one point perspective. And then if you're going to make it transparent, you'd add the last corner here. And then where this intersects this, you bring a line straight down and then bring that across to the other point.